not it's like this is like really this is like it's not quality is not representative of the price that you're gonna be paying on this should you be spending a few hundred dollars on this t-shirt all right welcome back so today we have an amiri t-shirt this is from an older season so i'm not sure of exactly how much this costs from what i've seen amiri t-shirts right now are around 400 dollars looking at this this seems to be a single jersey knit. It's a uh, fairly lightweight. For branding on the chest here, we have what looks to be a rubber transfer print. So this is gonna be printed separately and it's actually gonna be heat pressed on. What's gonna happen is the glue is gonna melt during the heat press process. It's gonna bond it to the shirt. You can tell because this is a little thick to be a screen print, as well as pressing action actually squeezes the print, which causes it to bow out a little bit on the bottom. And you can see that. See what else we have here. We have 100% cotton, materials from USA, made in USA, dry clean only. We have a two needle cover stitch on the bottom, finished pretty cleanly. Same for the sleeves. The stitching here is a little wavy, which for a t-shirt that's gonna be at this price point. Yeah, it's not like finished the best t-shirt. It's also not the worst t-shirt I've ever seen. We have a neck ribbing here, finished with a neck tape binding, so it runs across the shoulders. This is gonna make it a little more comfortable when it sits on your shoulders and your neck. And what it is, is it's covering the uh, stitch below it. And then here we have a Miri woven label for the branding and it's stitched to the fabric itself. Problem you're gonna run into branding like this is thread and the woven label is significantly stronger than this fabric being a single jersey knit. This is meant to be dry cleaned only, but it still goes through chemical process and still is actually washed, but just with chemicals. Over time, this is actually going to pull away and break from the material from the t-shirt inside. Side seam. Yeah, it's not finished horribly. So for construction wise, the only real kind of large concern Concern, would just be the wavy seam here. But overall, at the end of the day, it's, it's a t-shirt. There's not too much to critique here. So next step, let's cut it up. I'm gonna show you the panel pieces needed to make this garment. And then we're gonna figure out what the GSM is. And we're gonna talk a little bit about branding. So first let's tackle the side seams. Here are all the pattern pieces you need to make this garment. You have your sleeve panels here, you have your front panel, your back panel, your neck ribbing, your care labels, and your branding tag. So before we find out the GSM of this fabric, I just want to show you something that is often used in production, but they probably could have used something differently. You'll see here, there's four yellow dots. So this is gonna be done in a production step to show where to place the stitches. And this is gonna be done on the flat panel piece before it goes to the sewing line. These yellow dots, they could have or should have probably just used a washable soapstone or a washable marker, but in this case, they used a yellow one. You're not gonna see it because it's under the stitch anyways, but just as a, as a practice, it's usually better to use a washable one. But because it's made in the US, it could be more difficult to source washable markers. Before I actually cut this up and figure out what the GSM is, one thing I've noticed is on the technical back, it's a lot easier to see this. There's like a irregular Ziva striping pattern. And what this is caused by is actually irregularities in the knitting process, whether it be the yarn, the speed, or the tension. And there's gonna be parts of this that are thinner, some of them are a little more thicker. Seeing this leads me to believe this is a lower quality fabric, and it's not something that a lot of attention has been paid to for the fabric itself. All right, so now that you've kind of seen the issues with the fabric itself, let's figure out what the GSM is. 150 GSM. So let's recap. It's 150 GSM. It's made in the US. The construction's okay. Fabric itself is not the greatest. There are several different branding elements here. The care labels are gonna be around 10 cents. This is around 10 cents as well. This one with the chain with the leather on it, probably closer to 30 cents with the tag as well. There's a raised rubber print here. This is gonna be around 20 cents plus the cost of heat transfer it. Looking at this garment overall, the fabric itself is not not great. That could just be because who's ever actually manufacturing it, they don't know what causes this kind of striping in the fabric. That could just be because a lot of brands themselves, they're not textile designers. So they don't know to even notice these things. But as your fashion group, we design fabrics. So we know to look up for these things. Knowing all that with all these trims, even being made in the US, I really don't think this costs more than $5 to make. That being said, this is our second Amiri video. When it comes to t-shirts themselves, the difference to manufacture a mid-level t-shirt and a high quality t-shirt, five, six, seven dollars. It's really not gonna make a huge difference 
if you're charging a few hundred dollars to your bottom line. You know, my goal with these videos is to really educate consumers so they know what to look for when they're purchasing garments because there's nothing wrong with spending a lot of money on garments if you like them. But you should be getting something that is high quality and it's going to last you a long time. So would I pay this much for this t-shirt even though Amir is a pretty cool brand? I wouldn't. Let me know in the comments though if you would and if there's any other garments you want us to review. This is what it costs.